Righto guys, so today I'm going to talk about this lovely lady. Her name is Tangie, short for Tangerine. And she is a Kelpie. Uh, and she's almost seven. She is actually one of the originals. So she came on the books a week before we opened. So she's been here from the beginning and she's been coming up three days a week right from the start. So uh, she knows the routines very well. Tangie is a, a very serious Kelpie. She, she wants to work. She, she doesn't think that, um, you know, anything other than having a job to do is fun for her. She, she thinks that uh, coming to the farm is a job and she loves her job. So Tangie, being a Kelpie, uh, they love to sit on the outside. They love to see everything and assess you know, uh, it's part of their breed when they're herding sheep or cattle. Um, so she likes to get her frisbee or her ball and sit out on the outside so she can see everyone at, at once. And she's watching me. She's waiting for the invitation to, that I give her to say, I'm coming after your ball. I want, I want your ball or your frisbee. And, uh, and she gets very excited. If any other dogs are around at the time when I ask for her ball, she kind of runs to a spot where no one's around so she knows that no other dogs will pick it up. Um, and I go get her ball, throw it, and she chases that ball and that ball only. Um, that'll be her ball or her toy for the day. And it goes on like that uh, all day long. So uh, she's, a real, she's a real working uh, Kelpie. She's got that work mentality where, um, you know, all they want to do is have a job and they, and they take it very seriously. She takes her job very seriously um, and she actually really enjoys her job. Right, so a bit of background on Kelpies in general, uh, and it, it will help you understand Tangie and a couple of other our, our, our Kelpies. Um, they are a, a, an Australian working dog, um, you know, bred to be running all day, herding either sheep or, or cattle, and they really like to work. They're hyper intelligent. They really are switched on. They, she's always looking for me, to me for direction, uh, not necessarily whether it's direction for her specifically or where we're heading in, in the day. She's always looking and giving eye contact, uh, trying to read my body language, read what's happening next. And if there's direction given to her, um, you know, she, she takes it straight away. Um, so the even though we're not a working farm here, Tangie treats this as a bit of a job and that's why, you know, the, the working dogs do enjoy it because we have routine, we got structure, uh, our games have rules, and she plays by those rules and, and realize that this is, a, this is a job to do for her. Um, you know, she still gets excited at, at what the job is, but uh, she's definitely a, a more serious Kelpie that takes the, the game a bit more seriously as if it's her role. Um, so that's why, you know, the Kelpies really enjoy the farm trips up here. Uh, and you'll see Tangie always on the outskirts, uh, always observing, always taking everything in. There's not much that she doesn't see, whether it be me, another dog, the group, uh, she observes everything. Um, so having that structure, having that routine, having that purpose is uh, what really gives these guys uh, the satisfaction. Um, so Tangie, you know, being, being so intelligent and, um, and energetic, they're always ready to go at the drop of a hat. They're all, they, they never miss a beat as soon as I say, righto guys, let's go this way. She's off, she knows exactly where we're going. She knows what the routine is. Um, I'm always talking to her uh, and, and the other dogs, which they also get um, you know, a lot of uh, satisfaction out of. So as we do with, uh, with all the dogs, we talk to the dogs all day long, but uh, with the Kelpies in particular, they really enjoy that communication. They really uh, like to take on any signals or commands that you're giving them, um, and they, they receive them all quite well. So as far as um, you know, routines or jobs, we only have to tell the Kelpies once that this is what we're doing. We're going to the next station, or we're moving on to another paddock, or whatever it is. They know exactly what to do. They don't need to be told twice. Being a Kelpie, Tangi loves to receive information, whether it be verbal, non-verbal, uh, body language, whatever it is, she observes everything that I give her or give the pack, uh, and she thrives on it. You know, if you think about what her role would be if she was a working dog, it would be herding you know, a flock of 2,000 sheep or you know, however many cattle, 
Um, so the end result is all cattle in one point, um, but there's a lot of instruction in between. As far as what we do here, although we've got the, the games and, and all that, there's also a lot of information that I'm giving out the dogs through that game. And you can often see if a Kelpie sort of uh, gets lost in the game a little bit, they'll stop and put their head up and look for me like, what's the next direction? And she does that constantly. Um, you know, whenever whenever she's unsure or, or you know, whatever it is, she, she oh, hello, darling, yeah, thank you comes straight back to me, locks on with me, and I, you know, give her an eye signal or whatever, and it might be non-verbal, but they pick it up. They, they love the information, they absorb it and process it because they are so intelligent, uh, and they, they get on with the job. So, very impressive breed of dog, the Kelpies. They're a big part of um, uh, Australian agriculture, and uh, they are very, very good working dogs. They will work all day long, a lot longer than most humans, uh, which is one of their known traits. And again, really, really intelligent dogs, fantastic uh, on the job. <laughs> so as you can see here, the only time Tangi ever shows signs of wanting to play or the, the excited behavior is with Bandit. <laughs> Otherwise, she just wants to work. As you see this, she doesn't do this for any other dog. Bandit seems to bring out the play in everyone. And again, trying to steal the limelight here. This is Tangie's talk, mate. This is Tangie's talk. But I just thought that was uh, an interesting fact about these two. And again, they've been here from the beginning, so it's no surprise that they are good mates. Good boy, mate. Good boy. And that's the only dog that will let do that to him. Look at her. She loves it. Good girl, Tangie. So, this is Tangy. Not this one, this one. <laughs> this one's Bandit. This one is Tangy. Yeah, good girl, darling. Yes, buddy, I know, yes. All right, all right. Oof, oof. Hello, hello, good girl. Good girl.